Hello everyone. Today I'm going to explain how to sign up for a free Microsoft Office 365 account. Since we have a OESL Gmail account, which is a student email address, we are entitled to get a copy of Microsoft Office 365 for free. Before that, we should know what is Office 365 and how it's different from the other Office versions. Office 365 is a cloud-based application, which is already installed by Microsoft and is available ready to use. So whenever you log into your account and just open a browser and log into your account, you can browse the facilities which is available in the, the cloud. The other versions of the Microsoft Office that you can download the installer and install it on your local PC. So the major thing that you can say, uh, uh, the Office 365, uh, let's say Microsoft introduced a new uh, minor updates and the major updates, which is free for you in the Office 365. But if you purchase the other versions of Office, 3, Office, you don't get a major versions of update. You will get only the minor versions of that. Good thing here. First thing that update is free for you. Second thing that you can install for many number of uh, PCs. Actually, they, they allow usually for one to five PCs simultaneously. And there are some packages that you can uh, use it in the family, uh, in the personal packages, and also there are some business types. The second thing that uh, you can access it on the cloud. So whenever you are on the move, let's say you are in a university library or in a friend's house that you want to access your files, that's it. The Office 365 is the right solution for you. You can just go and open your uh, account there and then do your work and save it. You can share it online, you can share it with others. Now let's go and sign up for a new account. So now I open a office.com site, which is provided by Microsoft. And there you can see uh, three options are there actually initially, sign in and get Microsoft Office 365. And the third option is sign up for a free versions of Microsoft. Office 365. So now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to use these three options. Since we are students, we have to obtain a different version of that. So I'm going to click a product and say for students. This is the menu that we, have, we want access now. So I clicked for students. And here it says that Office 365 educations get started with Office 365 for free. And then here, this is the place that you have to enter the email address of yours which is given by the OESL. Since I use my email address already to sign up, I cannot use it again. So I'm going to use a dummy email address uh, to sign up and show you the process how to do that. So in order to do that, I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to say yes, uh, 1234567898 at OESL.LK. I'm going to get started with that. Let's say if you use a Gmail account or other account, they will identify you. This is not a private email. So they will tell you that's not allowed. But for the, the student IDs and other things, they will identify it based on your email. So I'm going to get started now. I'm clicking get started. Fine. Now there are questionnaires that they are asking you, are you a student or teacher? So I'm a student now. I click that. Fine. There are something to fill up. So, right. I'm going to enter my name and address and I'm going to put a password, any password that I want to include and the confirm password. And this password, you remember that. It's not necessary to be the same password that you use it on your email. You can enter any password. This account only for the Office 365. So you keep in mind. But if you want to enter the same password as your email, it's fine. You just go with that. But you have to make sure something here, very important here. We sent a verification code to the email address that I entered. In, in your case, that will be your email address. So they are sending a verification code to you, to your email. So you have to go and open your email and enter the verification code. You have to get the verification code, which is sent by the Microsoft and enter that verification code here. Let's say it can be one, two, three, four, five, six, or it can be any number. In case if you don't get that, you click recent sign up code. So this is very important because they are making sure that email address has a valid access 
or there's a valid email address because they cannot provide Office 365 for any, everyone and whoever just come and enter the fake email address and enter it. So in my case, I cannot get the email because I use the a fake email address just to just for the demonstration purposes. So you will get an email from them, verification code, enter the code and enter it here. And you also give a, a strong password uh, in order to create the account and click start. So that's it. So definitely after that, the next step will say that you successfully sign up or something like that. The message will give you that you signed up already. This is the main procedure that you have to follow. Second thing that after you sign up, you go back to the office site again back. So you, you finish your sign up already. Now what you have to do is you have to sign in. That is the, that is the, the next step. So I click sign in button here. And at this time, I'm going to use my own email address because which is I already granted to access Office 365. So I'm entering my, my original email address and I'm continuing that. And my password is already entered. So I don't want to repeat that in order to speed up the process. I'm clicking the sign in. And it's asking me stay in signed in. If you click yes, if you click do not show this button, click yes. But my username and password will be saved forever. So whenever I open next time to go to this office.com, it's automatically signed in. It's much easier. So I'm clicking yes now. That's it. So you already uh, open Office 365 in the cloud. So now we are accessing the Office 365 in the cloud. You can create a file and you can explore your things. That's very simple for you. You can uh, uh, create uh, many files and experience that. Right. So now we have a small difficulty on that since we are in Sri Lanka, we have a problem with the internet and bandwidth issues. For this one, we should find another solution, the alternate solution to come up with this to, 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 to ease our works. Here the problem is the cloud base always it needs internet connections online and you have to sign into that and it will work. On the online you can save your files which is saving on the one drive microsoft one drive and you should have internet so what what happened in case if i don't have internet i want to work offline then i have to upload your file and also microsoft they gave you additional options for that you have to click the install apps button here install app and then click microsoft 365 apps this is that you have downloading a local versions of Microsoft Office 365. So I'm going to click now. So now they are giving you initially an idea. What will happen when you click that button? They are downloading your Office setup, a small a piece of file that they are giving to you that will be uh, it's going to that's going to work in the background to download the Office applications. And second, that you have to run that application. So you have to say select yes to run it. And the third one, open any Microsoft page, sign in. You know. It's very simple process they are giving you in the three steps of Windows. I just say got it. Then I go to the download tab here. Then it's asking you confirm download. These type files can harm your computer, but anyhow, since it's an exe file, the the, uh, the Google Chrome is warning you. But anyhow, I'm going to say keep. So it's downloading now. Many times I downloaded actually, but it's just never mind. Just uh, we'll wait for the process or the same files actually so i'm going to run the file now so i'm going to open the folder the folder opens here i'm going to run this file anyhow the file is still downloading it but i already downloaded it so i'm going to stop and then delete it and i'm going to delete that as well so i'm going to keep only one file which is office setup i'm double clicking it so now it's working on the background it's giving me a message uh, saying that we are getting things ready and it's doing something in the background. Usually it takes a couple of minutes. So during that time, let's, uh, I cannot uh, wait. I was able to move the window. So during the, the process, we just have a look at it here, something that you can uh, see the Microsoft team is free for you. Oh, I click the Microsoft Teams file. So we have a Microsoft Teams, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. Then uh, there are so many things that also you can see the thing. And they give you OneDrive and my content, all the data that I, I created in three files. 
and then we go to the home. Right, so we get the second window now, and usually it takes uh, around uh, 30 to 40 minutes. Anyhow, it depends on your bandwidth speed of the internet. So here, uh, maybe I download a couple of times. That's why it's, it's loaded faster. It's almost like 50% is completed. So once this completed into 100%, you will, you will be able to access Office applications on your local PC, not in the cloud. So you should be you should be very clear with what we are doing now. First, we uh, sign up for application, and then now and then uh, we get access to uh, to the cloud office applications. And uh, now we are downloading a local version of that to access it on the offline. I mean, you can make it also online, but the main purpose of this one is the offline uh, uh, installer. So now it's saying inspection is finished and it's done. So it's ready now. So when I click close, right. so how to access this in installed version of uh, uh, Microsoft Office? You have to click the start button. Then you can say you can, you can search for a Word or uh, Excel, whatever it is. So I'm going to open a Word now. I'm opening a Word here. And then you see here, when you click my name, shows you that it's licensed to Muhammad Anushad, my student ID and the, the email address that uh, I already used to sign up. So that's it. So you can create your file. Then when you save your file, you can choose your locations where you want to save it. Either it can be a OneDrive or it can be in your local drive, whatever it is. So finally, the conclusion now, you have two types of uh, Office 365 is available for you. One thing is in the cloud, so this is a cloud one I'm giving side by side uh, for you to compare com, com, to compare it. So this is the cloud one that I logged in. You can create a Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote applications, and all the files that you are creating it will be saved on OneDrive. And here you have a local uh, versions of Office, which is also Office 365, and which is licensed under your name. And here you have options whether you can save it in your local PC or uh, save it in a OneDrive. And also uh, remember that when you create a file on the cloud, you can also save it in the local uh, PC. They can, there's option, for example, when I open a Word file here, it's loading now. This is how it's loaded in the cloud. It's fine. Now we have an option here, file, and then, and you can say uh, save as. And download a copy you can download a copy to your local uh, PC or you can save as somewhere else or you can download as a PDF there are some options that are available you can play around with the options and uh, have a look at it and this is the local version fine so you did it now two installations and try your best and let me know that whether you are succeeded or not and comment it on my YouTube video thank you so much for watching this